I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. One thing my bobs? Sure, I got 20. But who cares? I want more. Welcome to my channel. My name is Carissa. I am a Canadian flight attendant who blogs and vlogs about surprise, surprise travel. So today I am bringing to you my first ever Amazon travel haul. And I'm really excited to share this with you because there's so many things that I have used for years. They are my tried and true, as well as some products I've recently tried out and absolutely love. Most of the things in this are quite affordable and I am frankly in love. We are going to start our travel haul with number uno. So Right here, I have a tiny little vitamin box. It says daily dose on it in gold lettering, very cute. And inside you have a little, oh, this isn't actually what it came with now that I think about it. It had a square vitamin box, but I must have lost it because I put this one inside. But the point is the case is very cute. And apparently it doubles as a coin purse because I have discovered I have a bunch of like Arubian florins in here, which are, like loonies basically, and some seashells, which I have been using as like gua sha's. I don't know, that's just something that happened. Number two, I have here a very new item. This is my little jewelry box. I used to be traveling with my jewelry in, I don't know, Ziploc bags or whatever. And then when you get to your destination, you have necklaces that are just an absolute nightmare to untangle. So I just bought this and, oh, there's an earring up here. Um, it holds your earrings and rings down here. And then of course you can put your necklaces on this little hook here. And hopefully when you arrive, there will be no untangling that needs to happen. And it's so small, it fits perfectly in your bag. I love it. Next up, we have the cutest thing you can imagine. Please try to contain yourself. Yes, I know, I know. It's a very small pig and you're probably wondering, Carissa, what is this? It is a phone holder. So when you are on the plane and you have downloaded a dozen films on Netflix and you're holding them up like this, I see this all the time on the plane, passengers holding their phone like this for like two hours, that sounds exhausting. You could just use this tiny little pig, suction it to the back of your phone, place it upon thy tray table, just sit there and watch it. Number four, we have peach bands. These are for working out in the hotels. No gym, no problem. So I love peach bands. I've already gone through a set. I did like the resistant band ones that are more like plastic. This time I got fabric ones because I wanted them to last longer. And I always have these in my suitcase for my layovers. I love them so much. Let's confess it right now. I am just using the light version because apparently I am too weak to use medium. The travel wallet. I saw someone else on YouTube recommend this, so I feel guilty not giving credit. I will try to find it, and in the description, I will say who recommended it. But this travel wallet is this envelope style. It's so cute. This wallet holds so much goodness. So I'm gonna open it up for you. Hope I don't have anything too personal in here. Well, you know what's personal? This. You know it, I've got a free coffee coming. It's personal because it's mine and I'm not sharing it. So you got place for cards and debit cards, step, what, credit cards, whatever here. And then um, a coin purse here, coin purse. And then you have a slot for like, Old hard cash. Oh my goodness, I have so much in here. But you always have to be prepared. Let's say you're stuck in Russia or Iceland. Then you might need cash because your Canadian debit card may just not work. Gotta bring out the green stuff. Always travel with cash. That is the biggest travel tip I can ever tell you. Okay, what else do we have? We also have a spot for obviously your passport, the most important thing. 
right there. Spot for your oyster card because that used to be my life. I used to be always in London on my layovers pre-COVID. There's spots for all sorts of cards. You can even put your Blockbuster card in here. Did I just date myself? I never had a Blockbuster card. I didn't. There's also a spot right here if you want to put a chip, like a SIM card from your phone, like if you switch from different countries like I do. So that's handy. And then there's a little hook here. I don't know what that's for, but that is your passport holder slash travel wallet. And it's red. They have so many colors though, but red, I'm just really digging red these days. Next up, we have this red tech case holder. So I think this is for, you know, phone chargers and cords and whatnot, but I am using it for, oh, there's a mask. They're everywhere these days. I might put this on the list too, because that really is a travel essential. You always need to travel with masks. And the black ones I think are more classy than the blue ones. Blue ones make you look like you just came out of a hospital. These ones at least make you look like you've tried. Anyway, link in the description. So this one, just holds my charger. I don't like things just floating around in my bag or my lunch kit. This just keeps it contained and this charger feels safe and secure. I love this charger. I always feel so happy knowing that my phone is never going to be dead. We should get this charger because then your phone will never be dead. And how on earth are you going to follow me on Instagram if your phone is dead? The answer is you can't. So get the charger and follow me on Instagram. This is probably my favorite travel purchase of all time, like all of time. This is a paper white Kindle. I kid you not when I say it's changed my life. You know how hard it is to pack a hundred books into one bag? You can't until now. I love that I literally have so many books on here and I can just read them at any time. It's not like, oh, I gotta go buy a book. Oh, I don't have a room in my suitcase. I do. This weighs nothing and it reads like a book. It's not like, oh, I'm looking at my screen and my eyes are getting fatigued. The, the surface and the lights that they use, um, whatever kind of special screen this is, it doesn't bother your eyes and it feels like you're reading a book. I also linked a description to this case. I actually bought my Kindle in kind of a kit format with the case, the charger included, which was a better price. Next up, we have the USB cord. Okay, so the cord that I am linking is not this one because I'm using it, it's somewhere else. But this is an expression of what you should order, the six foot version of the same thing. You know the feeling when you're charging your phone by the edge of the bed and you're kind of like half on the edge and you're like leaning over an awkward angle for your back, the cord is too short. And so you want to charge your phone because it's almost dead, but you also want to be on your phone. So you're kind of like, like this and it's so uncomfortable and bad for your health. Get the six foot long USB cord. Plus when you are traveling, there are so many hotels that don't have outlets right by your bed. And so having this, it just makes life a lot easier. The next thing is not here for me to display, but I will put it on the screen if I can figure out how to do that. It is laundry bags. So this is very vital because when you're traveling for a long time, it doesn't matter where you're going or how long, really after one day, if you have dirty laundry and it is like sitting next to your clean laundry in your suitcase, it can get very stinky. It just affects everything. It's like your shoes. Promise me you always put your shoes in a shoe bag. But if you don't, you can also put your shoes in the laundry bag. It is multi-purpose. This is the secret to feeling and smelling fresh when you are on a trip. Bring a laundry bag and smell like a daisy or a rose. If you take offense to smelling like a daisy, if you want to be a daisy, be a daisy. If you want to be a rose, be a rose. If there's a flower I didn't mention, I am sorry. The point is, please put your dirty laundry in a laundry bag for everyone's sake. It's just kind. The next item on the list is a blanket scarf. The bigger, the better. I have a blanket scarf here for display. However, this is not the ones linked in the description because this is just for, for show, because this is a joke. It used to be a big, big scarf, but somebody I know who I won't name names, but she's sitting right here. She 
she put it in the wash. You're not supposed to put it in the wash. Now it's just like a thick, thick carpet because it shrunk so badly. It is no longer a blanket scarf. It is more like a tea towel scarf. My husband is a genius and he actually washed this scarf before. When you're only supposed to dry clean it, I said, no, do not wash it. He said, I can do it, it's fine. And he did wash it and it was fine. It looked like, like not great after, but it didn't shrink. So I thought, oh, it's dirty. I'm gonna wash it and do the same thing. No, we now have a pot holder. The point is a blanket scarf makes flying so much easier. You can use it literally as a blanket. You can use it as a fashion accessory if yours is bigger than a tea towel. You can use it as a pillow. I do all of the things, just not with this scarf anymore. The links below are similar, but just read the instructions on how to wash it. The next item on the list is a clear toiletry bag. This one is worse for wear. I need to buy another set. I've used these for so long, but I'm the kind of person that needs to see what I have. I don't like just digging around in my bag and like feeling, oh, this is this and this is that. No, you know what? I'm, I'm too embarrassed to show you this. It's very dirty. Um, also, whenever you go through security, ask for extra bags. It makes packing for your next trip much, much easier. The TSA bags. So yes, clear toiletry bags, very affordable, and you can see what you brought. And my final official recommendation is this uh, Glink, Glink, Glink water bottle. I love the color. I love that it's stainless steel. I don't like traveling with glass if I can help it. You don't want to break things on the go. At least if this falls, it's not going to smash in a million pieces. Much better for travel. This is the 32 ounce. You can buy smaller sizes. You can also buy bigger sizes. And they have a lot of colors to choose from. You have to stay hydrated on the plane. The plane is a cool place for those who want to stay hydrated. Drink water. I will mention though, please fill this up in the airport past security. Do not, I repeat, do not fill up your water bottle with water from the plane. You don't wanna know. I have not once, not once ever drank water from the plane and I don't intend on starting to. The only way I drink water on the plane is if it's been heated to excessiveness. And for the grand finale, this one is for the flight attendants. This is a can opener. So in the US you would say soda opener. In Canada, we say pop can. So you take the lid of whatever and lift it. So why I like this is because I like to grow out my nails to be long and feminine, and right now they're very short, but you can't do this with long nails. After opening one or two cans with your hands, you're going to have broken nails, or you are just going to have finger tunnel, which is another version of carpal tunnel, but for your fingers. I'm not a finger doctor, I'm not a doctor at all. But I do think that overusing our precious digits should be avoided with such products as the, the can pop. I love this thing. I just stick it in the pocket of my skirt or my vest. And so there we have it. There are some of my favorite things that I love for traveling from Amazon. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and maybe comment below. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. If you wanna see more, let me know. I would be happy to do more of these. Have a magical day. Subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you soon. You want thingamabobs? I got 20. Who cares? I want more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now.